We had Mod Pizza. There's a lot of places lately I feel like their music's loud. It's like collectively as we got closer to Christmas, everyone turned the music up in their places and I'm like, eh. Okay. Anyway, Austin's here. Yes. And Roland and Will. And Nikki was here earlier. And James, technically. Yeah. They they hit out a little bit a little bit earlier. It's how are you not cold? You got the shorts on. Like you're the only person wearing shorts. And flip flops. I he know. Does. I mean, it was like 30 this morning. It's like 50 now. It's not that bad. I mean, we're, we're outside for how long? How long? Four minutes. My hands are. Cold. You're also holding two drinks. I know. <laughs> it's cold. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'll see. I don't know if I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Day after Christmas. Uh, if I if I do, I mean, we're free. maybe it'll just be me and you eating lunch. Okay. Is I mean, it is it still lunch bunch if it's just us? No. I think it's I think it's a, just. You a, need at least one other person. I think. Okay. Oh, Dan might be back. I don't know. He left. Is he gonna drive back on Christmas Day? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Working at home is super weird because you don't have to go out that much. And a lot of times when you go out, you're suddenly reminded of like the temperature changes. And we've actually experienced some really drastic ones this week because today it was, or at least this morning, it was like th in the thirties, low thirties, but it was like, was it two days ago now that it was 70? Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be like 70 again Thursday next week. So. So go figure. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I like it when it's 70. I can, I can tolerate it whenever it's, you know, the temperature's lower. It's just the, the giant, like, fluctuations is really, really strange. Um, I mentioned it in the, in the last clip, but Dan did uh, head out of town. I had announced that beforehand. Um, he got everything done uh, because, of course, he did. He's amazing. He's Dan. And uh, I hope that he enjoys his... You know his time with his family i know he's getting a chance to see you know his his whole family um not only his parents but his uh siblings and i believe they do stuff with their extended family too around the holidays at least i believe so so he should uh he should have a really good time and i guess we'll just see him sometime next week probably late next week uh, we're also going to have, I think I may have announced it on the vlog already, but we're going to have some folks in town for uh, New Year's. We did a New Year's party last year. It was basically ChefCon. This year, um, it's not going to be quite the same as ChefCon, partially because we won't have Chef. Jazz and Jeff won't be here. Um, but we are going to have Paul, and I believe we're also going to have Nick. And that's that's the extent of the folks that are coming from out of town, but we'll have a lot of friends that are in town um, over for festivities as well so it should be a good time but we still have what two weeks before we have to worry about that two ish i'm exhausted you're exhausted yeah you've been you've been dotting that painting dashing side of the water mel has been working on this painting of hers and it's she said she feels like a factory worker because it's the same motion over and over but there's creative thinking involved. Oh, yeah. You gotta like figure really out the like colors and stuff. It. I'm just exhausted because I've been like putting so much of myself into it. But do you feel happy with it? Yes, very happy. You know what would make you feel even happier? A nap while I sleep. I'm sure that would make Exhibit very proud, but that's not what I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about the fact that several male videos ago we actually were given uh, Kit Kats we've never tried. And I think it's time to renew the Kit Kat challenge. For two. <laughs> well, we'll do just the one tonight. But this is, uh, this is, it says a share bar. Ooh, that was the one I was excited about. Well, this is the one we're going to do. Um, this is a, uh, this is Red Velvet, Red Velvet Whirl Kit Kat. And uh, I, which country was this from? Was this... I forget exactly. Australia, right? Yeah, made in Australia. I think it's funny that they wrote... This is a share bar on it, because in America, this would be a solo bar, I assure you. King size. Is that what size this would be? King size? It's slightly bigger than a regular. It is slightly bigger. It's, it, well, it's the, same, uh, it's the same height, but it's a different 
It's a little longer. Yeah, in America, <laughs> we don't encourage sharing. We call it king, which means that if you eat it, you're royalty. Those are long. They're not split in the middle like I thought they I would really be. expected they would be split. All right, will you break me off a piece of that Red Velvet World Kit Kat? Thank you. Here, so can I eat, kid? Never mind. I really like the cream cheese flavor. Mm-hmm. That's a very good Kit Kat. Mm-hmm. But my favorite thing about it, honestly, was the fact that the Kit Kats are extremely long. I've never seen that in my life. Why are they so long? You know what that reminds me of? And this is the weirdest thing. I'm literally still <laughs> choking down my last one. Are you trying to kill me? My God. You know what it reminds me of? And this is, this is really strange. Do you remember? It was like the era before YouTube, I think even, or early YouTube. And there was this, this, uh, video series animated called Salad Fingers. I think it's Salad Fingers. I don't know if anyone will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're so big! My God! So there's only four in there. Mm -hmm. Does a normal Kit Kat have five? Mm -mm. No, four? Mm -hmm. Anyway, the flavor on that is very good. It's obviously very sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't have wanted to eat the whole thing, so. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very sweet. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish we had water. Yeah, we'll get some immediately after this. But it's good. It has a good flavor. But that's a share bar, not because of the size, but because of how really over the top sweet that is mm -hmm. and like at the end of the first one i was thinking man this is sweet but when you shoved the second one forcefully into my orifice that was when i was like yep yep mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's really sweet mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. anyway you have to visit the dentist next year that's it for today thank you so much for watching and uh, we've got another kit kat called a chonk it's like a caramel something. But it's called like a chunk. Oh, I don't remember. I think it's called chunk. I don't know if I'm like confusing my Kit Kat lingo and my like internet meme usage or something, but I, I feel like it says chunk. Maybe it says chunky. And I've just, in my brain, I've filtered out the word chunky and have always just now replaced it with chunk. 2019 is a really weird time to be alive. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Also, I said this on uh, Breakfast Stream this morning, but um, shout out to Calvin and Bick who sent us the advent calendar. There's been a bunch of like really interesting things that they've sent, which we've appreciated. One of the ones that I got uh, in there was a Seinfeld shirt, and I love it. He probably... I already watched it so you can wear it. Yeah, like I, as soon as I opened it, I was really excited. So I actually wore it for Breakfast Stream this morning. And uh, just wanted to say thank you again because I really like this shirt. <laughs>